Welcome back to the Morning Brew with Larry Aarons. I'm your co-host, Aaron Muffaletto, and we are here with Local IQ this morning uh, talking about the arts. So, Siobhan Otero, how are you this morning? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. So, we're talking about arts. Uh, what's happening with arts this week in the town? Well, um, <laughs> there's a, a couple upcoming art events in Albuquerque. This weekend is Yastros, which is the Flamenco Repertory Company um, at the National Hispanic Cultural Center. They have an event on Thursday at 7 and on Friday and Saturday at 8 o'clock. Um, these internationally famed choreographers have come from Spain and Mexico, so we're really honored to have them here in Albuquerque. They've put over 100 hours of practice into this show. I love flamenco dancing. Me too. It's I just love it. Really I can passionate. Watch it all day and, and people really know it and uh, oh, it's yeah. such a passionate it's a really thing. dedicated dance yes. so um i'm actually we have uh the we're the flamenco capital of the world outside of spain oh. thanks to the national flamenco flamenco institute by eva Encinia sandoval and i'm actually taking a class with her at unm this semester and we have a little competition in our class to see who can sell the most tickets to the show this weekend. Uh -huh. Guess so, what? You so what are you doing TV here program. today? <laughs> so I have great publicity option yeah. here. <laughs> so if you'd like to buy some tickets, um, you can email me at Siobhan at local-iq.com. That's S-H-A-V-O-N-E at local-iq.com. Tickets are 15 to $45. I don't have to collect your credit card information or anything like that. If you just call in, um, say how many you'd like and give your pay over the phone. It's really easy. So if you'd like to check out the show can, this can weekend. Can I ask you a flamenco question? You're, 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 sure. you're learning the art, are, are you not? Yes. It's okay. <laughs> so the dancers, the, the, both the men and the women, you have to have this sort of this attitude, right? Oh, yeah. That's part and, of the whole. And how do you get yourself there? Well, um, it's kind of just a... With anything with that you're expressive, you kind uh -huh. of put whatever you're feeling into it, and it, you just kind of feel this passion. So, do you, do you have a hobby? Do you have something that sure. the morning brew, I guess, right? You have your passion. <laughs> yeah, yeah into this is this? my new hobby. <laughs> <laughs> he puts on his morning brew face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think with anything that you're expressive with, you know, there's some some form of energy and passion that goes into there. So flamenco is a great outlet for that. Oh, fantastic. Well. Yeah. Good. So that's this weekend, and next weekend, in celebration of National Poetry Month, um, with Andrea Serrano, she's a local poet and member of the band Cultura Fuerte. Mm -hmm. She'll be hosting a Speak Poet, Voz, Palabra y Sonido, which is a monthly poetry event hosted at Copper Square at 6.30 p.m. They ask for a $5 donation, but they say they'll take the spare change in your car. They <laughs> don't want to turn anyone away. And it's just a great opportunity for local poets and spoken word artists to get together and share their work and create a community. And we have some really amazingly talented poets here in Albuquerque. So you have to check that right. out next weekend, April 11th at 6.30 p.m. Very nice. And I hear there's an open mic portion, too. It, exactly. If so you've it's got a, something to say, like in a poetic form. So yeah. I can go in and say yeah. my mic. poetry about Alfred there you and go. the new I coach. I could see you doing this, Erin. I, yeah, <laughs> I, it could it could work. I let well, my frustration out there. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'll introduce my guest today, Jane Creighton, also known as Jane, Jane DePayne. Thank She's you. back. <laughs> Jane is a in our local house. celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jane is from Colorado. She's a transdisciplinary artist involved in immersive media and live performances. She's really involved in the community and universities in Colorado and New Mexico, recently tapping into the electronic music scene here in Albuquerque because of your awesome video mapping skills. Thank you. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait a minute. Okay, Jane, what, what is video mapping? <laughs> well, video mapping is um, where you take video and you um, assign it to certain areas of a custom screen. So, for example, I create very custom screens that um, that are of all different shapes and sizes, and um, I'm able to decide which part of the screen contains which videos and or which sections of the video. For example, what, what on that one, so this one you can um, you know put an image on the main hexagon in the center and then have all the squares 
be another video and then all the mini hexagons could be a third video and you can even add another layer and start transforming and mixing between layers on those different Kids, Jane is a professional. Please don't try this at home. Thank you. <laughs> this is, yeah, and this is another image of another display area. And you could put a different image in each one of those little boxes. I can. And this one is actually set up for the base therapy show that's going to happen this Friday in Albuquerque at Sister Bar. And this uh, design was made to kind of mimic a um, an equalizer uh, set up for a stereo system. And so I like to animate uh, this feature, this uh, design, stage design, in a way that kind of exemplifies the, the equalizer look. So you're able to, you know, split it up in rows or... And, and does it go along with music? It does definitely does, yeah. So um, it can sync up with the music. Um, there is some time signature. Um, assigning to the videos and I can also beat sync um, with the beats that are coming from the MIDI of, of the DJ. So I think we actually have a video of your last performance at Bass Therapy. Okay. okay let's run that video and watch Jane DePayne in action here. <laughs> yeah. well, at least her work. Yeah, the, right, the video is pretty nice and it, um, it really shows um, the the way that the video manipulates and is able to conform to just the Green structures and not spill over into, you know, the DJ or spill over into other areas. Hmm. Well, it looks like we don't have the video, but here is a flyer of Bass Therapy at Sister Bar this Friday at 9 p.m. Um, Jane will actually be hosting a video mapping workshop, so if anyone wants to get involved and check out to see how to do this, oh, wow. they can come to Sister Bar this Friday. Um, it's a $20 workshop fee, but it also gets you entrance to base therapy. So there's going to be some awesome DJs there that night. Uh, local community DJs, Halcyon, Shakedown, uh, Matt Rowe, or Mr. Lim, as, as he goes Mr. by. Lim. <laughs> so it's going to be really awesome. You should Sounds check out. Have you been to Sister Bar? No, I haven't. I he need to go. voted Perfect Albuquerque's um, favorite new bar in the local IQ smart list. Ah, see, I got to get up to speed here. Yeah, it's a good I'm glad guy. You keep, keep me I'll honest. I'll keep you on up on the art scene. Uh, good. I'm, I'm glad you do. No, I'll go. This is this is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I, Jane, I got to say, I think your work is really interesting. It is. I don't Thank know you. It's unlike Where you come else. up with this, but it's very interesting. It's you can't take your eyes off it when it's up and running and. Sweet. in well, action. It really actually the music heightens the work and the work heightens the music yeah. and becomes a symbiotic experience that really um, captivates and immerses the, the people in the audience uh, in the show and and it's really great when you start to work with themes um, and special occasions. And there's there's so. no limit to where that can go. Uh, no, it's it's no. endless, and and so it's really great. You can build custom screens, or you can just project on something like a building as well. So there's a lot of opportunity for doing this in in public, and I'd like to see it happening more in Albuquerque for sure. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, the it, 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 what's nice too is that the arts community is supporting this kind of work. You can you can get on this creative bend and and take it wherever you want to go and the community is really accepting of this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah I have a lot of gigs coming up here in Albuquerque and Santa Fe um, so please feel free to hit my website janedepain.net um, <laughs> and so or come on down to Sister Bar this Friday mm -hmm. and and check out the workshop and the live mapping. I also have upcoming shows in, in Santa Fe and Colorado so oh. And yeah, apart and from uh, the electronic music scene, you're also involved with the university, with uh, STEM A in Colorado. You're the founder of Science, Technology, Engineering, Math through Art. So yeah, I yeah. So I um, started STEM A in 2009, and it's um, a more of an uh, educational outreach program. But I do teach um, things like video mapping and circuit bending and electronic cigar box building and you know all sorts of different things that kind of oh, um, give students all these skills like soldering yeah. or computer programming or or you know computational thinking skills so um, and then of course the art aspect also allows for you to bring in ethics and etiquette and critical thinking into these realms so uh, you know Good steam skills. 
uh, is another big national movement in the science, yeah. technology, engineering, and math through art. Um, and now I'm working more on iSTEM art is my new program, which is immersive STEM education through project-based art learning. And all that happens in an immersive multi-projection environment like a digital planetarium or cave. Listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> Man. There you go. <laughs> uh, you're not passionate about this or anything. Maybe we can work some of this into flamenco. Flamenco, I, I, yeah. Totally. I think there's That's a... That's great there's about <laughs> collaborative... You, you can do themes. Could you do something like that? I could. And actually, when I lived it. in Spain, I took a little flamenco Ooh. and I lived in Vejea de la Frontera. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I mean, I think that um, actually video mapping is really the future in um, live production because you can create live backgrounds. Jane, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Siobhan, Thank good you, to Larry. see you.